welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I am setting up my planner for Christmas. Um, I, in the past, I, I, in this planner or this, I have, well, it's technically a planner on discs. This is like crafts or past Christmas, um, like expansion packs and they're both in there. I have a create your own planner or create your own cover that I did, uh, couple years ago whenever there wasn't you know any Christmas covers out um, this was like the very first year uh, that I very first Christmas anyway and I have like other Christmas expansion packs in here um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to this is off of a notebook that came in a like be happy box last year I think and so I I'm gonna, this is the cover that I'm gonna use for my Christmas planner. Um, and I'm going to use red and green metal discs. So I'm gonna pop those on real quick. Whoops. I've been waiting for green metal discs forever. put the front cover on too. So what I do every year for Christmas is I just, I have like a few elements from the Christmas expansion pack along with my planner. So right now here, this is my planner. I'm using the Calva plan. Um, thankful cover from her Kelva fan box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything that I use in my planner for the month of December and put it in here. So let's see. Um, this is the current week that we're on. I might as well put it in here. Okay, so I'm going to put December in here, my sticky notes, okay, that's my catch-all planner, and then I need to go to my work planner. We're still in November, so I need to put all of November for my work planner in here. And then December. Okay, now I'm going to put the current week that we're on in my journal. I haven't written in it yet. And then December. And I gotta put these daily gratitude sheets in here. Okay. 
so the rest of this stuff I can put in its designated planner. Okay, now I'm going to go to the front here. And I'm going to go through all of my Christmas planner stuff. Let's see. I don't need a cookie exchange. Where's my Christmas card list? Here it is. Okay. So here's my Christmas card list. And this section says cards and gifts. So I'm gonna use these gift list pages and stocking stuffer pages. Okay. Here's a notes section. And this is a different This is a different expansion pack. Oh, I don't know if this is my current list or not. All right, I'm gonna put these with these. And then I'm gonna have to like check and make sure it's all right. Here's more gift lists and stocking stuffers. Okay. And here's a memory section. So you got like a spot where you can put your favorite memories and even pictures. So, and then holiday traditions. I can do something with these and put them in my memory planner. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'll put that right there. And then here is more notes. I'm gonna put these in here too. I know there's two note sections, but that's okay. Okay, this also came in the um, Be Happy box. It's stocking stuffer ideas and note paper. I don't need this note paper. I'm gonna put it in the notebook. I'm gonna put it down there so I can put it in the notebook. But here's, these are stocking stuffer ideas. These are an awful lot, but I'm going to put them all in here. That way, um, whenever I go to put all these Christmas sections back in this holiday expansion pack planner thing, um, I'll have them all together. So, I just got them all. Oh, there's gift lists on the back. So, there's stocking stuff for ideas and gift lists on the back. Okay, so there is that, and I think that's, that's it. So I've got my Christmas planner, like for our Christmas cards, a gift section, a memory section, and two sections for notes, and then my vertical catch-all planner, my work planner, and my journal, all together in one with a really cute Christmas cover and red and green metal discs. Um, I hope you guys like this video and it gives you an idea of how to set up a Christmas planner and not have to have two separate planners. Um, and you, you can get the expansion packs from the Happy Planner and not necessarily have to use all of them because, I mean, we don't have, like there's a party section, a cookie exchange, now, 
Now the cookie exchange is pretty cool. Um, you got like ingredient substitutions for sugar and flour and eggs. And like here's tips for cookie exchange. And then they you got recipe pages, which um, I put in my recipe planner. But um, it's really neat. So, but I we oh here's more Christmas cards. I don't need that many. Um, it, we don't. We work from home and we're self-employed, so we don't have like an office that we go to and a bunch of coworkers that we could do a cookie exchange with. So. Um, but if we did, then it would be definitely something I would look into. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.